webbing, the, the battery pack, the switch, and you're going to see us rocking, rocking and rolling. Did you tell them why we're putting in the wire? No. Nine to 10 million tons of furniture are treated as trash in the US every year. You want to see what furniture should look like? You're in the right place. This series is for the creative viewer looking for inspiration. Great find. It was going to be in the landfill. Oh, I know. And now it's going to be in your house. Horrible, man. Yeah. We're going to throw it in the trash. We are transforming rejected furniture into one of a kind pieces. So watch this father and son team come up with ideas you've probably never even thought about. Okay. All right. Oh, move the table a little bit. That's all right, man. Dude, you did a great job. Grant. Thanks, man. You really did. Yeah, so we sanded it. The decorative Smooth. wood is nice and ready to go. Uh, we just need to put on that coating over top. You did all these holes here? All these holes are inch apart and as close as possible to the actual decorative wood. Good job, man. So Good we're job. ready to move on to the next step. Yep, but what really is important? What's really important is that you guys can still get this book. This is Handmade Modern. It's by Todd Oldham. It's a really cool 52 ideas for stuff that you can do at home. We really like this book, and you think we think that you guys are going to like it as well. So go ahead and look for the contest that's going to be at the end of this video where you can enter. It's the exact same contest as last week, so if you missed that one, just go ahead and do it this week. Again, it's at the end of the video, so we look forward to hearing your answer in the comment section below. Okay, okay, so what are we going to be doing today? Okay, like I said earlier, I'm going to remove these straps because two of them broke. I don't okay. want to keep the strap system. Obviously, anymore. they're missing like here and here, right? Because there's a huge gap. A huge gap. They support the coiled springs. Okay, right. really good when they work, but they don't, not these. So I removed two of them already. So we're okay. going to re-web this whole thing, the whole bottom. But we have some other work to be done, right. too. Right, so we have additional pieces that we're going to be adding. I need to add a battery box for this battery pack to sit inside right back here. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little wooden box that can hold the structure of not only the tarpaulin but maybe the webbing just in case you need to staple up to there. So it's going to be yeah. a heavy duty box. Okay. And okay. I have to run wire from the front to the back. Correct. And install this switch, this little teeny switch here. Funny enough, that's from an RC car when I was a little kid. I took it apart like when I was 15. That's cool. That's really yeah. got it. Yeah. But I was younger when I had the RC car. All right, you were like, what, 14 and a half? Probably. Yeah, but they're still cool. Actually, RC cars are cool. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna install this up front, so I gotta put some block in there. Okay. And you gotta get on that wood, and that's it. That's yeah. the next step. So, webbing, the, the battery pack, the switch, and you're gonna see us rocking, rocking and rolling. Did you tell them why we're putting in the wire? No. Okay, how's it going here, man? Good, good. I just got this done. They're not exactly sitting flush, but it's solid. It's not going anywhere. That's it's what's fine. important. Right, yeah. exactly. So I got the three sides of the box. The fourth side is actually going to be made from the, or is going to be made by mm -hmm. the back rail. So okay. that way it's not kicking out a little bit too close to the springs. That's what I was hoping. I had to X you out here because I got to put a piece of webbing here. We want to support the coiled springs here. Got it. So I need to put you here. Okay. Okay, and I'll work around it. I like what you're doing. It's solid that I can actually staple to that. Yeah. Okay. So if you need be, like you said, just staple along here around mm -hmm. the edges and it should hold. I, it's going to be really tight. I only did nails and glue here, but it's going to be really it's fine. tight by the end. And then for the other side, I'm going to do screws. Yeah, so that's great. We can do the face screw in there. I just did um, staples here and glue. I think it's going to be fine. I mean, you're just talking about a switch like that. Let's get real. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, so then we still need to run the wire back there. So could you get started on that while I finish off this box? I gotta put a bottom to it. I'm gonna run the wire through here. Okay. Okay. And there's something else I need to tell you, but I can't remember what it is right now. So, but nonetheless. Actually, I know what it was. I can't do the webbing until you're done. 
Okay, I can maybe start over here. Yeah, I'll be done by then, because I just need to do like two more cuts for the top part. Okay. And then, it's really the top part, it's not the bottom part. Two more cuts, and then sand it down so it's nice and even. And okay. that's it. I keep staring over here because I got a leg in the back here. When I put a webbing strip here, I'm going to have just staple to this. There's not much I can really do about it. I can see that. But they only had, I don't know, I'm guessing, I don't know if they had a strap for each, each rail. I think they did. I don't think they did because I don't no. think there was one here. I think it was here, here. I think it was only six. Well, maybe the other ones fell off and someone pulled it off earlier. Maybe. Because remember they were hanging down? Maybe you can kind of angle the webbing too like this. Yeah. So it's just going to be, it's not going to be perfectly angled straight, but that doesn't matter. Well, I could, I could still do it straight here and then work around this and then staple to that leg. I've, I've done that and seen that before. Okay. You know? All right. So, that works. All right, I'm cool. going to get to the top. All right. friend how you doing oh doing pretty well what about you pretty good got the box ready and the battery holder though i did mess with it i'm having a uh, liquid nails on there mm -hmm. and it came apart so i'm gonna have to wait the full amount of time for it to dry oh yeah i see it right now so other than that the box is pretty much ready there's velcro in the bottom of it so when you lay that thing down it'll stick right up there because obviously okay. gravity wants to pull it back down right and um yeah we have leather straps to pull it back out Okay, so you got glue on here, liquid nails. Yep. Yeah, I don't know if liquid nails would work, work with plastic. I have no clue. I thought you meant the wood. I do have it on the Yeah, that's wood strong too. as a nail. Yeah, you know, seriously. that's the name. Right, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna leave it overnight, see what happens, and well, hopefully works. What was this for? It's a tab, so you can pull out the battery pack. Ah, Otherwise, clever. you can't get your fingers in there. So when you push it down, it automatically holds that out. Good man. That's it. Be careful it doesn't rip that off. You pull that back out. Yeah, that's why I put the staple down because I did try it and I'll get it off later. Well, it takes like 24 hours to yeah. take the set. All right, cool. What about so you? No, I was doing really well. Got everything hooked up and then the wire broke. Oh, nice. Off the switch. So I got to pull that thing out and solder it. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, I'll heat up the solder gun and then I can start placing the I got the I got it heating up over there. You got it heating yeah. up? Okay, it takes a little while. All right, so, so yeah, that little RC car switch broke. Yeah, what a shot! I was on a roll, man. But it's looking good though. Yeah, so I'm about to run the wire back through here, and then it broke. Okay. On me. So, but well, anyhow, I can let solder me, that. Yeah, let me go ahead and place the box back there right now, mm -hmm. since you already have it open. I'll find a nice spot for it. I might have to take this out just a little bit more if you don't care. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about taking too much out because this is holding the springs in place. But you're right; you're going to need more space. Maybe what I could do is just cut. Maybe these two. I think even if you cut it, it's a good question. You're not going to have room. Okay. I think you need more room. I'll give it a little should bit be more okay. room and a cut because uh, I think if I could just fold it backwards, it'd be fine. Okay. Let's take these out right here. Okay. You know, that gives you a little bit more room. I'll try to gingerly take this off. Okay. So right depth, right on, basically. But the only thing is, what? There's a twine that is holding together the springs. Do you see that? I do. Right, right where I want to be. Hmm. Okay, well we got a problem. I got to figure out what to do then. I'm thinking this: get some bun twine, retie it. Like, so instead of here, it could go here and here. Mm -hmm. And then um, tie these things down. Okay, so put a slip knot on here and a slip knot on there. Yep. And then. But after we retie it. So I do a slip knot right now mm -hmm. and shoot it over here. Mm hmm. Because I don't need that much room. I just need the room, sorry, in between mm -hmm. the two. That's what I'm thinking. I think it's the only thing we can do. Okay. Let's see what so, we can do here then. Okay. 
So this is what we're planning on doing so you guys can see. Taking these out, but before we do that, we take some new bun twine and then tie it on this spring right here. And if I can move this out of the way, that spring right here. And then move it over to here and move it over to here instead. Or I think we should staple it here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Not, yeah, so stapling it over there. Okay. But first, I'm going to do a slip knot on these and then cut. You need anything? Mm-mm. Thank you. Yeah. Do you mind pushing against the sofa for me for one second? Yep. Good go. Sorry. Mm -mm. I think this... Okay, back. One more. There we go. Sounds okay, so I'm pretty. Okay, I'm through. Yeah, done it. Pretty sure it's in here. That's weird. Yes. You want to do the um, multimeter to see if it switch works? Yeah, let's do it. Or do you do you have a light you can hook up on there? We got the lights on the table. I got an idea. You got it. Now if the switch is off. Okay. I, I was afraid I heated it up too much. Look at yeah. that, folks. On, off, on. And that's how a switch works. Okay, okay, so I've got this wired up. The next step is to obviously wire it down to the back. Man, you did a nice job, man. Thank you. Yeah, so it's quite sturdy. Maybe I wish you could it was put a, a car bit... battery on there, huh? That's funny. I wish it was a little <laughs> bit more flush. I'm always picky. Yeah, you're a little picky. Just a little picky. But, I mean, this thing is not going anywhere. Look at that. It's moving the whole sofa. Yeah, now you're great, man. Like I said, you could put a car battery in there. Yeah. I'd rather you be picky than, like, lazy. That's true. Seriously. That's true. So this is already attached. So this red wire is attached. This black one is not. And the reason why is because we need to wire the rest towards the back, and you'll see that later on. But you got to get going. I do got to get going. I got an appointment in like 20 minutes. Okay. I got my switch in just fine. I was going to do the webbing, but I ran out of time. I got to get out of here. Looks so nice. I could do that quickly next time. Not a worry. Not a problem. Then we got to work on the outside back. Yep. Right? Yep. Uh, we're going to relocate that brace. Yep. This is going to be replaced with two braces, one on this side and one on this side. Not for construction, not for um, support, rather. Right, right but for something that we're gonna be doing. So. Yeah, because this is plenty of support right here. Yeah. If we can, we'll just reuse this one, relocate that one and do another one. We gotta get the right angle of that one too. Exactly, so it's gonna be fun. Yeah, it should be. All right, so I'm you out of here. Going. Get out! Head and look for the contest that's gonna be at the end of this video where you can enter. It's the exact same contest as last week. Okay. okay, so now onto the contest. Yeah. We got a cool prize. We like this book a lot. We know you're going to like it. It is called Handmade Modern, okay, by Todd Oldham. That's the name right there. Todd Oldham. Great guy, excellent designer. This says here mid century inspired projects for your home. So, you're going to love this book. It can be yours if you get this right for our contest. What is that? And our contest is actually pretty cool. It's about how many nails were inside the love seat before we took them all out. Mm -hmm. Now, we measure nails in feet because obviously counting them takes too long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we have our feet that we measure it with <laughs> and that's what we're going to be doing. So, is it A, 21 feet were in this love seat that we all had to, we had to take out? Take exactly. Out. B, 18. C, 26 and a half or D, 24 and a half. What's your answer? Yeah. Okay, so simply put the uh, answer below in the yeah. comments. You can make it really simple. You can spell it all out like A, 21 feet or whatever, or you can just do A, B, C, or D. And we're gonna get you this book absolutely free, no shipping, of course, or no strings attached, straight to you, so, and enjoy, get started on your projects. I mean, they got projects in there from coffee tables. Yeah, they have tables. like headboards and stuff yeah. like that. It's really cool. I mean, little chairs. Absolutely. It, simple projects that you can take on like a weekend warrior would. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a great book. So it's yours if you get it right.